Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, we're going to be making a sandwich from regional history, specifically the Made Right Sandwich. Now, uh, Made Right is a chain of restaurants in the Midwest, starting in Iowa, and around 1926, butcher Fred Engel, Angel, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce his last name, but he played around with a combination of spices and seasonings and meat. And uh, supposedly, when he fed it to a delivery driver, the delivery driver said this sandwich was made right. Boom, Made Right is born. The other interesting thing is, uh, this kind of sandwich is considered a loose meat sandwich, and the loose meat sandwich is the supposed precursor to the Sloppy Joe. This, however, is not a Sloppy Joe. Now to a skillet, we add ground beef, finely chopped onions. I'll take that until the onions are soft and the meat is no longer pink. Now we add beef stock, brown sugar. I said brown sugar. There you go. Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Now we bring it to a simmer and cook it down until it's just coating the meat. I almost forgot, yellow mustard. Now we just spoon that on the bottom of the hamburger bun. All right, let's give this made right sandwich a go. You really do taste the beef. Obviously you taste the onions and a little tang of mustard. And that sauce reduced down nicely. It is flavorful, but I do want to plus it up. If you guessed fried jalapenos from Trader Joe's, you are right. Bring a little crunch, bring a little heat to the meat. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's give this rapidly deteriorating made right sandwich, plus up with fried jalapenos from Trader Joe's, a go. I gotta say, the uh, jalapenos did not stay crunchy <laughs> once they got on the sandwich, but the nice kick of heat is good, and that little fried flavor is good. Okay, so the original made right loose meat sandwich, you know what, it was tasty, it was good, it wasn't like wowing me, but it was good, so I'm gonna give that a seven. Plus up with the uh, fried jalapenos that got a little bit soggy, Let's go seven and a half. A nice kick of heat in there. Well, again, it wasn't flooring me, but it's delicious. I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't know that I would make this again, but if I were in Iowa, I'd probably stop by Made Right and pick one up. Why not? <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>